Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Hayden and today I have a new video for you. I believe about a year ago, you guys seemed to like my video about fixing up that old computer and making it my own. Now I have kind of a similar video for you today. Um, I turned an old computer into a miniature file server. And this is a story on how I did. A couple months back, my parents had kind of like a miniature hangout between family friends and one of them happens to own a business. So he told me how he was upgrading the computers at his business and he knows I love computers. So he asked me if I wanted two or three of them. So I was like, how could I say no to that? So one day, I actually ended up getting one of them, but that's just fine. A free PC is a free PC. One day he texted me, he's like, oh, I just dropped it off in the front yard. I'm like, okay, sweet. So I brought it inside and I looked it up just to see what the specs are and it ended up being the HP Pavilion P6000 series, gray edition. And it had a CPU of an AMD Athlon 2 640 quad core processor, four gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, one terabyte hard drive, which it actually did not come with because that had company data on it that needed to be deleted, a DVD drive, ATI Radeon HD 4200 integrated graphics and a genuine Windows 7 Home Premium key on it. But obviously that's on the hard drive and that did not come with the hard drive. So I had to buy a SSD. I've never really used an SSD before, but I wanted to have one in this since I really did not need to spend a lot and I do not really need a lot of storage considering I'm using this as a backup file server. So that's when I ordered a Kingston 120 gigabyte SSD and I bought a Windows 10 home key for cheap on eBay. I believe I paid about 10 bucks for that. That's the way I go now. I don't believe in paying the $120 that Windows or Microsoft actually wants you to purchase it for. So I cleaned the entire PC out, dusted everything. It was a mess inside. I don't have images of what it looked like, but trust me, it was a mess. So I actually took off the CPU cooler, replaced the thermal paste as you should after a long time of being used. And I was thinking, this case is extremely heavy and extremely old. I could almost do a sleeper build, but I didn't really wanna put the money into doing a sleeper build because that can be very, very expensive. So I figured why not make it a backup file server for my school stuff and other files on my computer that might get ruined. So I figured, why not? So that SSD also has Windows on it, but it also has some files that I need as a backup. Now, considering I have an old PC case in my storage, I figured why not switch this PC from an extremely heavy retro case to kind of more of a modern case with a window that I could have in my room at all times. Now, that is exactly what I did. I can't see it because it's not on my desk, but it's actually right in front of my window seat, right behind the camera, with a monitor and keyboard attached to it almost at all times. It is almost on 24 seven, but I like to turn it off on the weekends because I do not use my computer on the weekends because I am working. But the best thing is that I learned to, I learned from it was, I was in a cloud services class for school and that is all about using Azure Active Directory, creating users on a network, having them create temporary passwords, that kind of thing, mapping network drives. And I never knew about this until now. I can save or backup a document from my main computer to the file server by typing in the exact name of the hard drive or the SSD and connecting it to my computer. So I could save one document from my computer to that computer and it will be there at all times. As long as the drive and the computer is online up and running. To me, that is huge. And something that I'd like to get to, I don't know if this is possible, is you know how when your iPhone does backups of the entire system just to go to the cloud? I'd like to back up my files from my phone to the PC every once in a while so I can still have it in the cloud and on the PC in case something happens. So always having a ton of backups is never a bad thing. So. It has been great. I've been running almost constantly and I love it. And 
How can anybody say no to a free PC? So this is the PC now, all cleaned up, ready to go, on almost constantly, and that is all. Since I figured you guys liked my older video of changing a PC to a modern PC, I figured why not tell you about this so you can do your own thing. Now you can make your own file server, email server, hell, you can even get yourself an old PC and make a Minecraft server out of it. Who doesn't want a good Minecraft server? Now that is all for this video. If you want to know about me or anything about my personal life, all my links are down below. Please check out my Twitter and my Instagram. Those are the two that I actually use the most. I tweet almost every single day, and most of my photography is on my Instagram. But otherwise, like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.